Now, listen to this man. Listen to this man. Most of you must have watched this video. But I want you to know something and notice something from this video today. What is the difference between the allegation of this man in this video with what we have been shouting about the compromising in Nigeria military? The only thing that he did not say is that Nigerian military have Boko Haram working with them. But every other thing about that the military is compromised is the same thing that this man have said. And this man you are looking at now was a police officer of the Nigeria police. Is causing insecurity in this country is negligence put on the security side. If you remember last time you interviewed me here when I talk about uh, the relationship between Air Force and Army, I said clearly that there is no synergy between the Nigerian Air Force and the army because what uh, why i said that on that time our more than 200 soldiers killed in metele in borno state the whole unit i have the commander of the unit is from kebi state zuru he's a friend of mine he was killed, but before he, after he died, I see his text message on my phone that he called the Air Force and informed them that there is attack and the weapons are not working. They say they have to take direction from Abuja before they operate. That is where I complain and the, the fighter jet can reach the place in 25 minutes uh, in, in 15 minutes, and the, the fighter helicopter can reach the place in, in 15 minutes. So they can be rescued. And what is, is surprising me, look at the videos as a Did you listen to that? Did you listen to that? That the military sent message to Air Force that they are, uh, there is attack, and they didn't show up. And why is he making this revelation? Because his friend has been killed. And this has been happening on daily basis. And every Nigerian, everyone who is a prominent Nigerian, who is a politician, is aware. And they are not talking. But now, when it touches his friend, he's talking this thing you are seeing. Is it not what we have been shouting for a very long time? And nobody is listening to us. But now, I said something will compel them to talk. And they are talking. And what is, is surprising me, Look at the videos are circulating for uh, the insult for the terrorists. You can see them, they are releasing videos. They are going inside the bush in hundreds. Some are going by, uh, uh, marching by their legs. Some are on bike. Some are on trucks. Then last thing you will see the, the gun trucks are following them. What is the use of the Air Force intelligence? Where is the intelligent? How many days they will detect those people and bomb, finish them? Where, what is the use of the money that we are spending on, 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 the, on the, on the, on the Air Force? Now, how, how many millions we buy aircraft? How many millions we sign agreement with the American government for, for Tucano? So, we are spending money. But seriously, if there is no synergy between Air Force and the Nigerian Army, this war will not finish. And terrorists will continue. Not even you see them in the bushes. They will even come inside the Abuja. Gradually. Because when you look at the situation, it's the thing that will be tackled in a short time. There was a time when Amish base is just three kilometers to the Boko Haram main camp. 
they will not go unless when the Boko Haram come to attack, then they will repeal. But if they never come attack, they leave them. So what happened is, tactically, if you look at this issue, there is sabotage and there is breach of security within the, the security. Is it not what we have been shouting about? There is the Nigerian military has been compromised and you have Boko Haram working and serving in Nigerian military. And the commander is Burutai. That is why if you are asking question to why the Nigeria Air Force there is no synergy is because of the commanders that have sworn an oath of allegiance with the Boko Haram to make sure that army are losing their men. And those men are from the southern part of Nigeria. And sometimes the northern part of Nigeria will fall victim. Just like your friend from KB State. So, I, are you people listening? What is different from what this man is saying now from what we have been shouting with evidences? With evidences. This issue, there is sabotage. And there is breach of security within the, the security. Because there was a time when the, the Boko Haram attack army convoy with the allowance money uh, almost 100 million plus the allowances of the soldiers they attack them and cut all the money and the trucks who informed them that army are coming with so so rot with, with the money So maybe there is Boko Haram inside army and there is Boko Haram inside Air Force. I'm telling you, they have agents. That is why every blessing time that government intend to do something, before government do, they were informed. Look at the time when the professors from the University of Meduguri Geological Department they went to the oil site. They were kidnapped and killed. How they know that that people are going for that oil field? And the major fighting is for that oil. And the strong, the 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 some the, the back some the strongest back back of this issue is is France. I have said it about two years back. How are you allowing NGO in the name of NGO to go inside the bush and meet the terrorists? So they are meeting them, they are giving them money, they are giving them arms, they are give... So how can you finish this fight? And what is worrying me is how can you go and kill a small girl five years, ten years, seven years old, kill 90 years, 100 years old man, kill facing in the mocks and call yourself a Muslim. I can see where they are interpreting always. I can... You finally hit the nail. The mistake is you said maybe. It is not maybe. Boko Haram is in the military, in the army, Boko Haram is in, the, is in the Air Force and Boko Haram is in the Navy. That is the fact. So you finally hit the nail. But the mistake you, say, you said may be. That is not may be. It is what the Biafran's agitators has been shouting for. And this is one of the reasons we are getting our independence. We are leaving Nigeria for good. There is no way the Nigeria security apparatus can be fixed again. Because it has been rotten. And it has been compromised. Talkless of killing. But the serious issue with this country we are facing today is I'm telling you, if this security are ready to, to, to finish this fighting, they can finish it. But sometime they made the thing as a business. Like I said, this attack of burning of cars and killing people near me where the president visit. 
their security report three days before the attack and the army was informed. They never repeated the attack. How can you come to the army checkpoint and kill people? Where is the army there? What army are doing? They are not ready. We know Nigerian army as professionals. But this time around, they are acting like, I don't know whether maybe the heads are not trained them more well. Because this thing can finish in a short of time, as I said it earlier. So what I am advising, Mr. President, if we are ready, we have to retire to those service chiefs, withdraw all the soldiers that are in Meduguri, the juniors and the seniors, all of them, and send a fresh troops. I'm telling you, if the president do this, this war will end in 40 to 60 days. Because those people that stay long in Borno, they maybe they, 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 some they tight there, but some they are enjoying there. There are certain ways that they are enjoying. So they don't want to even worry. They don't want to even the fighting to end. Because they are getting, they are gaining something. But if you send a fresh troops now, withdraw able army there. Send fresh troops. Retire the, 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 the service chiefs. There is general. Still we have generals. They are not the only generals. We have a young generals. In the Air Force, in the Navy, in the Army. We have generals. And they can walk. We throw all the troops. But if we never do this, this killing will not, this fighting will not come to the end. And lastly, the issue of banditry. Issue of kidnapping. This kidnapping, you see it, there is negligence of Air Force and Army too. Those people are living in the bush. They are living in the bush. And the local people around the area, they know where they are. You cannot send army to go and fight somebody with the AK-47. You are expecting those bandits. Some of them, they have GPMG, General Purpose Machine Gun. So you send them as you send tankers, gun trucks in the northeast. Katsina, Zampala, Sokoto, Kaduna, Niger, here Abuja, we're supposed to enter these bushes with gun trucks, suspected weapons. I'm sure these people will be finished. And what is they supposed to do? The president supposed to order short aside. Because these people, when you carry them to the when you they, are, they have been arrested, you carry them to court. They took lawyers and they were released on bail and they are going back to the bush and continue their business. So they are not peer. How many people arrested and released? Even yes, last, last two weeks, I had a look at is saying that the people he arrested with his hand, they are the gang leaders now in, in the forest. Because they were released. And he, he arrested arms. Where are the arms? So seriously, if the president order shot aside, forget who's human right. Where are the human rights when these people are killing innocent souls? Where are the Amnesty International when these people are killing innocent the whole town? Women and children. So when you catch them and shoot them, you are fear amnesty. Oh, oh, so if you are fear amnesty, oh, oh, human right, they will finish Nigeria.
and amnesty and the Humorai cannot do anything. So we have, we have our law. It's our country. Since these people are killing day by day, rampantly, we should forget any human right. We should forget any amnesty. Let them shoot aside. That is, that is the only possible way you will end those people. But as far as you will arrest them, take them to court, they are released. It's because they have money to take lawyers, son, 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 and to go and release them on bail, to go back to continue their killing. So that is what happened in this country. Now, there is only one solution to end this, because you have confirmed that Boko Haram is in the army and Boko Haram is in the Air Force. There is only one uh, solution to this. It is called Nigeria disintegration. That is the only thing that will solve the problem of the security collapse in Nigeria. Everything mentioned in this video has happened. It is fact. And the question is, nobody can answer that question. How did the Boko Haram know? If not the Nigeria, the Boko Haram that are in Nigeria army that are giving the information to them. So, the only way to solve insurgency in Nigeria is by Nigeria disintegration. Nigeria have, is rotten to the extent that it is irredeemable. So, disintegration is what everybody who is reasonable should be agitating for. Yeah.